Friends, I'm on the High Shoals Falls trail, trail in the South Mountains of North Carolina. Over here is the little rest area thing you've got before you go a mile toward High Shoals Falls. You're going to buy the Jacobs Fork Creek. I guess is what most of this is. I'm using a uh, Insta360 X4 to shoot this. Um, you're going to see some beautiful waterfalls on this trip. It's a little hike. I've uh, never had a 360 camera of this quality to show you all this. But this is a favorite place of locals in the Morganton area, Shelby, Lincolnton, uh, Hickory, the Foothills area. Most people know about South Mountain State Park. It is the largest state park in North Carolina. I cannot remember how many acres, but I'll try to put it in the description and a link to their website. It's massive. Uh, no huge mountains here. Uh, the highest mountains are around 3,000 feet, but it's very rugged as you can see. Um, very steep in places, so at the parking lot, I think you're about 1,320 feet. By the time we get to the waterfall, we'll be up, I don't know, 1,780 feet, something like that, I think is what the waterfall is. So it's a good little one mile hike. You start out on a nice little road like this that the park service can uh, get the vehicles up. Then it uh, diverges off into various trails. Chestnut Knob trails up on top of the mountain. That one's worth doing too. No waterfalls on that one, but uh, thought I'd share this one with you. Enough talking. We'll pick back up when we get out on the trail. Uh, so you can see some of the creek. Then we'll show you the waterfalls. It's beautiful. You're gonna to get to this point out here where the trail can go right or left. And uh, this might be, not be exactly what I'm talking about, but you can see the creek better over here. I think that does go off to the right. If not, then you just up here ahead, obviously it does. You got Big Bear Falls Trail, it says here. You can cross this little bridge and just go another six tenths of a mile. So I'm a quarter, a four tenths of a mile in. All these trails are pretty. I've enjoyed hiking on all of them before. Not all of them, most of them. You can see how the creek looks here. Uh, one thing you'll see every time you come up here are people with dogs. This is a very dog friendly hiking trail. I've already passed five or six folks with the dogs. You see every kind. People carrying them in little uh, slings <laughs> or uh, big dogs just walking around having a great time. They love walking up through here. So if you're a dog lover and we'll bring your dog, it's a great place to walk your dog as well. This little picnic area over here. There's some uh, placards up here. Information placards that'll tell you about the wildlife, the history of the area snakes that are here now i have honestly i've been up here do, over a dozen times i've never seen a snake so but they're supposed to be copperheads and like eastern diamondbacks and uh timber rattlers will hear okay, rattlesnakes in south mountains you can freeze that and look at it here talking about the civilian uh conservation corps ccc what they did in the in the building of this and then talk about early life in south mountains again I've, I've missed one of the placards that talks about all the different wildlifers all kinds of critters out here too folks so we're getting ready to get into the part of the trail it gets rocky you got nice little smooth trail like this up until about 75 yards ahead of me here and it gets pretty uh yeah you, know, you have to be careful how you walk that's why i brought a walking stick so yeah, at this point, the trail starts to become more like a trail. Again, very smooth and easy to walk on here. But very soon, you'll be almost like sort of bouldering a little bit. It's 
small rocks, you have to just pick and choose your places. I think it's cool when they've got steps like this in certain places. And I've got a bad left knee, so I have to be kind of careful the way I climb and step down off of things. People are stepping down off things. So if you have <laughs> a problem joint or something, do be aware of the fact that it's advantageous definitely to have a stick with you. Some kind of a walking aid. Here comes some folks up ahead. I'll turn off so as not to bother them. I always think this rock here growing up, or this tree with this rock growing up over is just cool looking. This is one of those places I always remember when I came here. It's just a very interesting sort of a tree there with that rock. You see some big old rocks and up ahead of us here it's where a big rock slide happened. I don't know when, I think there's some history of it up here on a placard, but uh, there's a big old section of rock through the trees. You can sort of see it. I've actually climbed about halfway up it before. It's a little scary because you're on about a 45, or maybe steeper degree angle uh, as you climb up it. But all this flat rock here that you're seeing slid off this mountain up here. I'll pause for a second and see if we can see any of it. You can, of course, just walk up and uh, look at all these big slabs or whatever this is. <laughs> Looks like concrete or something poured here, doesn't it? But that's not what it is at all. It's a big rock slide. And that ahead up there is it. It goes probably 200 feet up the side of the mountain. Here is some sort of info on it. Let's see what it says. Happened in 1989 as a result of heavy rains from Hurricane Hugo. Huge rock slide. Toluca granite is what they call it. Through the trees, you can see it. Crazy. Anyway, like I say, it's, it's just a little weird. It's weird walking on It's like somebody laid a big slab of granite <laughs> up the side of the mountain. Interesting from a, from a geologist's point of view. I bet they would find that kind of interesting. We're entering kind of a neat little area here. You're walking alongside of the creek. I thought I'd share a little of it to see if it see what it's like. I'm not going to uh, rattle on the whole time. Just kind of little, little waterfalls all along the way. So when you get up here where they've built their platforms, they've actually built some nice observation platforms. That's where things start to get dramatic. But I just love trails like this. Uh, I've lived down here quite a few years. Before I realized this place was so cool, this is a whole lot like what it was up in the mountains where I grew up. Uh, there's a trail that goes down to Crabtree Falls, which is one beautiful fall. And so I didn't think there was anything like that up, up there down here to match that, but this does even better. I mean, Crabtree Falls is still like the Rivendale of North Carolina. It is beautiful. It's just so much like Lord of the Rings. But this sort of has the same feel. And there's a whole lot more little waterfalls, just not as big. The one at Crabtree Falls is 100 feet or so. High Shoals up here is 80 feet. And I, as I understand, the trail has been closed. So you can't uh, go all the way to the top of it you can go down to the lower observation point where it plunges and so we'll do that this is one of those little places i'm talking about where you just gotta be careful and choose the rock that we step on so this is sort of the reality of this hike the rest of the way is on top of rocks so be careful if you've got a gimpy ankle gimpy knee hip that's liable to go out Hopefully I'm getting a good bit of a, of a little falls and progression of how things just get more and more rugged as you go.
I don't like to go up here particularly after rain. Rocks can be slick. Hey folks. Sorry, I'm doing a little hiking video. <laughs> Get on past y'all. That little pool over there is actually a lot deeper than you might think. I've gone over there and looked. I swear I think it's probably seven or eight feet deep in that part. It looks like it might be three or four. You see people swimming up here sometimes, which I guess the water's getting clean. It's coming out of the side of a mountain somewhere, and there's nothing up here to pollute it. Like I say, this place is incredibly massive. I, I will put in the description how many square miles the park is. We're getting fairly close. Oh, I can see it. Up ahead is the uh, place I'm telling you about where they've built the observation platforms. That's where it gets really nice. Wait till you see this, folks. We're getting there. Lots of rhododendron. Lots of moss and stuff on the trees and trunks. How you guys doing? <laughs> Pretty awesome, isn't it? Well, uh, I feel like snow is getting low. The bridge is closed up there. Oh, uh, at the very top? Yeah, yeah. So you can't go across. I've read somewhere that, but so you can't go all the way to the very to the reflection pool. Yeah. You see the falls there, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank all you, bro. Right, have a good one. Appreciate it. <laughs> this is about 9.30 in the morning, so the sun's not popping out down here yet. When the sun's out, it's even more dramatic than this. But this is my favorite spot. All this is coming up ahead. I'm going to put the camera up overhead. Thank you. 
photo here. Okay, so I did some HDR photos, which it takes maybe 20, 25 seconds for those things to process. I'll tell you that. Let me go ahead and show you this with some more 8K video. sure-footed and like I say I don't recommend coming up here when it's wet but sometimes these rocks can be a little slick I'm just saying if you're clumsy and prone to falling <laughs> or have bad joints like I do so this is this is tricky some of this so yeah I noticed I tried shooting HDR photos high data rate and a 360 and it took a while for each one of them to cross this. And I was surprised. Among this boulder over here. I'd say it's 15 feet tall. It's at least that. Yeah, folks, tell me if this is not sort of one of the rings type. Yes, to you. Yes, to you. Big old tree fell over here, it looks like. I'd say that's trunks three and a half feet in diameter. It's a big one. Hey, how you doing? <laughs>
along in here is where you start to have some steps that the park service is putting in. And you know, I guess the people that cut this trail probably use the rocks laying around here to make the rocks that you walk on. Because there's definitely an order to it, you know. But then you get to places like this and no hope of making rock steps out of this. So, Excuse me, you call here. Okay. I'll stay out of your way. I'm doing a little video show friends about my oh, awesome. South Mountains. It does look beautiful. Woo, I'll awesome. say. Beautiful. Have a great day. I'll say. Kind of a relief to walk on some steps. <laughs> We're close to the uh, the Upper Creek Falls here. Look at that. I'll let a family get on by. Let's see if I can make it the rest of the way to the top. Not as young as I used to be, folks. Gotta go a little slow. High Shoals Falls is what it's called. It's at Upper Creek Falls. High Shoals Falls is where we're going. Right up in here. Yeah. You didn't stay too long. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it before. Gotcha. <laughs> but it is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Hey, friends. Made it. I think. This is a huge boulder. That's pretty big right there. Love the moss and stuff on this one. HDR photos here.
Okay, folks, so that was really awesome. There are always a lot of people that kind of come and hang. Just uh, hope they don't mind this little video of mine. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. One last look around from up here off the high shoulders is. I'm going to head back down. and By now, the sun's probably changed a little bit, and I'll show you the lower falls again. It might look a little different with the way that the, uh, I'd say the way that the sun is, is moving across the sky and filtering down into the valley. Yeah. Now they're just some cute puppies. <laughs> hey, buddy. Friends, I turned 60 this past February. And I'm realizing that I still climb like maybe I'm 40, but I descend, I come down like I'm 80. <laughs> I have the hardest time coming down. And so my last bit of advice, I guess, on a trail like this is don't get in a hurry coming off of it. Uh, be careful going up. Be twice or three times more careful coming down it's uh it, it, it's just a little hard to uh navigate the rocks and stuff coming down and not twist an ankle or something <laughs> man that is a rig right there yeah. <laughs> that is crazy <laughs> those are the most awesome baby carriers i've ever seen <laughs> Cool. This would make kind of a cool high definition picture here. I'm gonna try one here. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> This is the awesome trail for dogs. <laughs> it's pretty good. It really is. Oh, definitely. Oh, Friends, with that, I think I'm going to end this little video. One last final shot of everything all the way around. The sun somewhat Ha, 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 ha.